I'm gonna make at least one video a week documenting my progress in starting and running a business. At least one video a week, one video a week. Hey, this is Blake, and I gotta be honest, I was not expecting the imposter syndrome to hit me so quickly. The whole point of this channel was to be a source of accountability for me so that I would actually follow through with being an entrepreneur. Uh, even though, clearly, I have made the video deadline, what's happened in the past week uh, has not exactly been keeping with that. So um, I posted that last video on Saturday of last week and immediately felt like I didn't have to do anything. I mean, I got a full week, right? Like, what's one, two, three days, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I kid you not, it was Wednesday, like, actually Wednesday before I even started preparing the episode. Literally everything you saw me doing in the intro, the video games, the running, the sleep, that was basically the entire week from Saturday up until Wednesday. So when I finally realized that I had to start doing something, the first thing that I did was decide that I needed all new equipment. So hopefully you can actually tell that the video is a lot clearer this week than last because, I mean, you can't be a YouTuber with potato quality video, right? Anyway, I bought a whole new camera and some lights and a gimbal and all that stuff that admittedly I don't need yet that's not like it's not adding to the process, but whatever. Don't get me wrong, I will use all of that stuff. It's just that, like I said, none of it represents a tangible step towards my goals right now. That, if I'm being 100% serious, was more about procrastination than anything else. I mean, hell, I actually started building a desk so that I could have a better place to put all my gear. And I, I don't mean like Ikea or something like that, like putting a desk together. I, I just... Okay, so we're in my basement and it's a total mess down here, but don't worry, we won't be here long. Uh, I just wanted to show you this so that you can see that I am not exaggerating at all. That's half of the new desk right now. I am a hobby woodworker. I'm literally uh, handcrafting a custom desk from scratch, chopping up all the wood and putting it together and everything like that. And there's the other half just leaning on some pipes over there. Now, I do actually need a new desk. The one that I'm sitting at, I have actually had since high school, and it's long since past time to upgrade. The thing is that I just can't really ignore the fact that I've had the idea of building myself a new desk for literally months and haven't done it, and now all of a sudden that I'm giving myself deadlines for things to do is the perfect time to start a whole new woodworking project. One of the other ways that I've been spending my time this past week is on doing research into how to properly run a YouTube channel. I'm talking about cuts and edits and analytics and data and all of that good stuff. I tried out some of the things that I learned over the past week in this video, so hopefully the quality and everything else like that is better. I also found tons of pieces of software and resources and strategies and articles and all sorts of things like that that'll be fun to try. I actually, I started a file in, uh, in Notion to keep track of everything because I won't be able to use all of it right away. But one of the main things actually that I need to do is create a workflow for my videos because right now it's really ad hoc and it definitely takes a lot longer to make these than it needs to be. Okay, so I procrastinated for about half the week, but where'd the rest of my time go? Well, I 
started looking into ways that you can get leads on vending machine placement. I even came across and signed up for this service that puts you in contact with businesses in your area that are looking for vending machines. So in theory, it should be easier than cold calling because the people that you're reaching out to already actually want your service. Uh, that was the idea. Now, you do have to actually pay for the leads and you have to pay to be in the network. So it is kind of a lot of money. So it, it, it's gotta be like, it's gotta pay dividends like right away. I did actually get one lead, which I did also pay for. So I, I called them up and I actually had to use my iPad uh, to record it because I had to do that while I was on break at work. I literally sat in my car because I wasn't about to, you know, sit at my desk and, and do a business call where all my coworkers could hear it. Okay, um, I am a little bit nervous right now if we're being completely honest and truthful, uh, but I have a, uh, a lead on a vending machine location uh, that I am about to give a call right now to to see if we can get some machines placed uh, in their business and uh, I'm just gonna you know just record that and and, and see how we do so uh, yeah <laughs> let's let's give this a shot please leave your message for Yes, hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Blake. I am calling from uh, Force. Uh, as I understand it, uh, you've put in a request for some vending machines for your break room. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a call and have a little chat about that. Uh, so if you have a moment, uh, you can give me a call back. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, the The number is two and again, that's Blake from. Thanks so much. Bye. Cool. Didn't pick up. <laughs> well, as you can see, that certainly did not go to plan. Um, I'm hoping that they will on Monday because I called them on Friday. Uh, the place that I got the lead from, they did say that if the people don't respond that you can get a refund, so I'm hoping that if I don't get in touch with these people at all, that I will be able to get my money back. Um, you have three business days to reach out to those people and request your money back, so I'm, I'm, I got my fingers crossed on that one. Um, in the meantime, though, I'm thinking that I'm going to actually do some cold calling, like some real cold calling. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some research over the next couple of days of uh, a, a bunch of different businesses in, you know, in the area nearby that I can actually reach out to and see if they will actually, you know, let me put a vending machine in their place. So that is pretty much it for now. Uh, <laughs> I am out a couple of hundred bucks on supplies and on testing out buying leads. I'm going to try out uh, reaching out to that lead again and I'm gonna be doing some cold calling in the future. If, if that was enjoyable to you, uh, please hit that like button, you know, do the YouTube stuff because I am actually trying to grow this channel. So that would be really cool. I appreciate you.